Hi friends, how often do you take the time to just be silent? Silence is incredibly powerful. It's a powerful tool in business, in therapy, in your personal life. Um, and I think it's one that is really underutilized. And it's something that um, people like introverts, like myself, we often feel bad about silence. We often feel like uh, there's something wrong with us when we can't fill the void. And extroverts, of course, have difficulty just shutting up <laughs> long enough to notice that uh, silence exists. <laughs> but it is a very powerful tool. I remember many years ago when I was uh, learning how to sell, when I was doing a lot of receiving a lot of sales training, one of the things I learned was that um, you can become a much more effective negotiator if you learn when to shut up and just be silent and just wait. Um, it's a very powerful tool. Um, oftentimes, um, I mean, salespeople tend to be extroverts anyway, um, but it doesn't really matter. Even introverts will feel uncomfortable with silence and want to fill it, especially salespeople who are introverts because they've been trained to, to talk into the silence. And um, often in negotiation situations or sales situations, the person who breaks the silence first is the person who gives the most ground because um, through the discomfort and then breaking that discomfort, they, they've managed to let themselves be negotiated into, into a worse position. Um, you know, that's, that's a very competitive environment, but even in non-competitive environments like um, uh, therapy, um, it, it can be very powerful just to create some silence, just to create some thinking space and coaching, for example, as well. And when I'm coaching with clients, sometimes I just let them think for a while, you know, I just shut up for a while and just let there be silence. And, um, and that can be very powerful for clients. It, 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 they can have take the time to think. They know there's no pressure. And um, it, it's funny how sometimes after an ex, you know, like a, what seems like a really long silence, um, really powerful breakthroughs can happen. Um, but then also in your personal life, um, how often are you with friends and you, you know, you think that their silence is awkward? And I know a lot of people who feel like. If there's silence, oh, that's awkward, and I better fill it, and maybe we're just not very good friends if we can, I don't have things to talk about. But I don't know, at least maybe as an introvert with other introverts, I sometimes just enjoy, enjoy the silence. And, um, and I think, you know, it's a powerful thing just to know that it's okay to spend time with someone and, and be in silence too. Um, because you don't need to talk all the time. And... You can communicate so much without talking and uh, you can just enjoy the presence of the other person and, and that's enough. And so I'm curious, what does silence mean to you? Do you use silence to its fullest? And um, do you take the time just to be silent and to enjoy it? That's it for today. See you tomorrow.